Good morning. As you may or may not know, Blakes is situated in Oxfordshire. Now in Oxfordshire we're blessed with having some really good day ticket water, some open access waters that all you guys can come and fish. Not far from here we've got Linear Fisheries, we've got Lynch Hill and we've got Orchid Lakes. And in fact, Orchid's only about three or four miles up the road from here. So today what we thought we'd do is take the camera down and we're going to introduce you to a guy called Russell Webb. Now Russell has been with Blakes for pretty much since the beginning basically. Uh, but more importantly, Russell knows Orchid inside out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down, have a cup of tea with Russ, fleece him for, for some information, see what baits he uses, see how he goes about fishing Orchid. Let's hope he's got the kettle on. See you down Orchid. Right guys, you join us down here at Orchid. We're in Powell is and this is Russell Webb. Um, now Russ, lots of guys from around the country come to Orchid, some of them are coming here for the first time. Yeah. What would you say is the best way, the first time you ever come here, how to approach Orchid? Like swim location, you know, how to find the fish, I know it's quite a busy fishery. What do you do when you turn up? Yeah, I just generally look for, for signs of fish straight away. Um, always check the weather, the weather's key on here. Um, it warms up quick if you get a, if you get a nice warm southwesterly you know they like to follow it so always do your own work as well I like to see where the fish are coming from before I get here and then obviously see what the winds are doing if the winds are getting cold drop off the back um, just gen just generally knowledge of, of, of the of the lake as well you know get to know it and and just just fish sensibly just fish, fish I mean, that's probably means. the good thing about here is you've got the the website which which gives you really sort of up-to-date information yeah. about captures and uh, where the fish are coming from and obviously as I say if you're traveling that's obviously key to to know where the fish are and if you can get on them yeah definitely uh, they've got a capture port here always look at that before when you turn up um, and just go 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 with what what you're seeing as well you know yeah. it, find them same story yeah, yeah find, find them, them fish get them. they do yeah. show here don't they as yeah well. they show um, they like a bit of cloudy, rainy, sort of like windy conditions. They're always feeding that. Um, if, it, if it's not, if it's if it's calm and it's it's it's, it's sort of like clear days, real rods in and go and go and have a look around the margins because these fish they, they like to come in close around the pads and stuff like that. So yeah, there you go. Um, okay, let's talk a bit about bait. Obviously, we're a bait company, so let's talk briefly about bait. Now, you've done incredibly well here in the last sort of 15, 20 years. Yeah. Is it is it a maggot water? Is it a particle water? Or is it a boiling water? Or is it a combination of all those things? I think it's a bit of everything, to be honest with you. I, I think it's, it's generally the, the time of the year when you can get away with putting some bait in and you can fish the boilers and stuff like that, you know. It, as you're coming into the summer months, it's it, as I say, it's boilies mainly, and, and they they do like the corn. So yeah, just just fish your mix to what you what you're fishing on the hair, and it's it's pretty pretty you, much that way. Do you um is there a problem with like nuisance species? Are are there sort of we sort of nuisance species? They're bream, yeah. tench, roach, that sort of thing. Yeah, there's 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 tench and, and bream in here. Mainly you get main. A, f a few bream if you're fishing like the corn rigs and stuff like that but uh, if you get in trouble with that you know the best way to do it is uh, fish a snowman try, yeah. try, try and bigger the bait and try and stop them picking it up because if the bream are there nine times out of the ten the carp are coming in as well so. um, there's no crayfish or anything in here is there like that? no, no nothing no crayfish um, so you put no. your baits out there and the following morning if you haven't had a take they're still intact everything's still yeah, good yeah just keep just keep quiet as, as soon as you put your bait in and you and you feel like you're fishing right and wait for them to turn up and um, we've just been talking about the weed obviously the water here has been dyed so is there literally no weed in there at the moment or, or does it still get weed if, if you do find the weed it's, it's like gold yeah so you know find it, get yeah on. find it fish fish up to it fish near it you know find your spot and it, you're usually laughing because they're there so there you go some nice simple tips there you know, you don't really have to change your bait from anywhere else. You can fit, you fish exactly the same as you probably are on your other waters. Just be sensible. Try and find the fish. You don't need to go mad with the bait to start, um, to start with. And uh, you could have a great little session. So in a minute, we're going to have a little look at Russell's rigs. Right, 
Right, so this is uh, one of the rigs that I use on Orchid. Um, quite simple really, you don't need to overcomplicate things. Um, fishing pretty similar to what I'm feeding, um, but not, not feeding so many 15 millers, always feeding sort of like 12 millers. So what we've got here is just 15 mil, plastic bit of corn, size six uh, quarter wide gape, straight through to um, some stiff coated braid. And that's pretty much it really. You don't want to overcomplicate things too much. Um, yeah, just just put what you what you're feeding out there really. So that's the orchid rig. A big thank you to Russell Webb for giving us some points and some tips there about orchid. Russell was very keen to point out the fact that he places a lot of emphasis on the fact that during bite time he'd like to keep his swim really really quiet so if he thinks bite time is between 6 in the morning and 10 in the morning he will make sure he's not doing any baiting up any recasting that during those hours his rigs are out there as best they can be so something to bear in mind if you're taking a trip down to Orchid yourself so the lakes itself Orchid brilliant well run fishery immaculate you can get delivered to your swim it's got showers it's got toilets everything you need for some day ticket carping Get down there and give it a go.